Happy Saturday, everybody. Villain Media Productions. You've seen my partner's RV. I think you've seen this one in a couple of videos with the generator. Today, we're gonna to be getting some new Goodyear Endurance tires on that Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. It's a very good day indeed. Just for those curious, this is a 2017 Nissan Titan XD gas, two wheel drive. I think it tows around 11,200 pounds. Payload is about 2,340 pounds. Gets horrific fuel mileage. I have 60,000 miles on it. Tows this camper just fine. It's my everyday driver. Maybe not the most economical thing to drive around town, but quite frankly, it's a good sized truck. It's very comfortable. It's been super reliable. If you have any questions on it, feel free to post a comment. So today we're gonna get rid of these Westlake travel trailer tires. I'm not gonna trash them too bad. They have not blown out on me. So I guess that's a good thing, but they, they tend to lose air pretty easy. And um, I don't think they have the stiffest sidewall out there. We're gonna be switching these out for the Goodyear Endurance trailer tires, which everyone says are the absolute bomb diggity. Is bomb diggity a word? I think I might have sounded really old right there. In any event, we're gonna be getting some uh, some Goodyear Endurance tires today, and which is probably good timing. That place is not what it used to be. And good luck ever getting service there. So I picked up the trailer today. It stores in a lot. Obviously there was some dirt on the way out. And this tire here was down to 11 PSI. So it's been losing air here and there. It's kind of what prompted me to really speed things up a little bit. Um, but today it was it was really far down there. It was at, like I said, it was at 11 PSI. So I've aired it back up and uh, I'm gonna get it on up to the to the shop. The shop's right up the road. You might see a little bit of squat on this Titan. Not that much, quite frankly. But just so you know, I do not have the Blue Ox uh, system hooked up. I am literally just dropped on the ball, put the chains on, and um, we're gonna roll. It's only a few miles, truck's big enough, and uh, we're, we're not probably ever gonna exceed 40 miles an hour, so not overly worried. So I'm gonna let you know not only what these Goodyear's um, look like, but I'll give you my first impressions after we get them on. And I'll also let you know if I feel any difference uh, when I'm towing. Right now, like I said, the truck handles the trailer. It's not a small trailer. It's, uh, like I said, it's a 2800 BH, weighs in around, I'm thinking it's probably around 64, 6500 dry. So it's, it's maybe it's around 7,000, I've never weighed it, but it's 30 plus feet long. I think it's 32 feet long. So let me back out a little bit, Oop, that's in. So, you know, it's got that whole sway thing going on because of the length of the sidewall. It's a good, uh, it's been a good RV though. But, um, and you know, just so you know, we're gonna change these steps out to the new Lippert steps, the ones that actually go down and touch the ground. I'm gonna change this window out. I'm gonna put a new screen protector in. We're gonna change out these um, crappy old jacks. And um, we're gonna put a 40 inch TV in the interior, see how that works out. And other than that though, I'm gonna do a few things to this and I'll bring it to you via this channel. But uh, today, we're getting rid of those and I am extremely excited. Okay, we are headed up to the shop. That 11.9 miles per gallon, you might be thinking, wow, He's getting better gas mileage than I thought he'd get. That actually is my day-to-day -day without the trailer, just driving around town, average fuel economy, 12 miles to the gallon in this truck. I don't do any highway driving. It's all short distance. And like I said, I like this truck. Uh, I like it a lot actually, but this truck gets really bad fuel mileage. It's a, I think it weighs around 6,200 pounds and it's two wheel drive, it's not even four wheel drive. So I got the camper out back. I think you can see it back there. It's doing good. Sometimes it amazes me without the, the sway bars and all that good stuff. It almost sometimes feels like it, it tows better. Um, I don't think on a highway or anything like that, maybe in a safety situation that would be the case, but um, I don't know. And like I said, I'm just towing, towing some back roads here. 
There's the Amazon Fulfillment Center. And uh, we're just driving it down the road. It feels fine. We're going about 45. I think that's the speed limit on this road. And uh, all is all is well. So it feels fine. Uh, I'll be up on a, a larger route here in a couple minutes. And I'll have the trailer up to a little bit higher speed. So I'll be able to, you know, on the way home, I'll be able to see if there's really any difference in feel anyways. I'm sure overall, the, the better tire with the sidewalls and all the safety features built into the Goodyear are definitely, maybe not something I'll specifically feel, but I'll more than likely appreciate it as a, as a complete unit uh, overall with the, uh, the drivability of the, uh, of the Goodyears. And quite frankly, hopefully they won't lose the air like I've been losing in this Westlake tires, but we'll see. And I'm not having them filled with nitrogen this time. I'm just gonna go with straight air for now. So here's one of the tires. You can see the blockiness of the tread pattern, the sidewall, the cutout right here they were talking about. So definitely looks a lot better. And um, already feeling safer. I don't know if that's just a false feeling hyped up by the internet, just like the West Lakes are hyped up to be China bombs. But in any event, I'm very happy to be getting these tires on this camper. Okay, we're back in the truck. Headed back to the house and then back to storage. Do I feel anything different? Eh, it may feel a little bit smoother. But in all reality, I mean, it feels like a trailer getting towed behind my truck. Um, what I do feel different about is I feel a little bit safer. I feel like... Obviously, I have a new tire on the truck. I have a tire that's got a great reputation. Sorry if there's any wind. These felt good, not that I can actually tell, but I do feel a lot safer with these tires on versus the other tires. A lot better construction. So I'm, overall, I'm very happy so far, and we'll see how they do on the interstate in a couple weeks. Total price out the door with installation was $687. So I, I feel like it was a worthwhile investment, and so far I recommend them, but I'll definitely know more as I put more miles on them. If I have any major updates, I'll post them up. Other than that, the next time I get on the highway and take this uh, thing out for a longer drive, I'll put something up in the comments on uh, a follow-up.